All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you my biggest regret during MCO and I lost a lot of money and this is what happened. All right, guys. So before I get to the biggest regret during MCO, okay, I'm just going to give you a bit of a history. So since 2018, right, we were in the we were in the online education business. Okay, so we are helping parents to allow their children to learn from home, to learn online, even without tuition or without stress. Or and parents don't need to buy exercise books anymore because we just provide everything. Okay, we provide everything for them. Um, yeah. So 2018. Um, very quickly we became our companies like uh, ambassadors we were like six figure income earners in our company and this went on for like 2018 you know? then 2019 we have a team like we have a team of education entrepreneurs all over malaysia and we were very blessed okay this was um this is really a very good experience for all of us especially me and my wife crystal as well so yeah, so 2018 up to 2019, 2020, we've been helping a lot of parents all over Malaysia to uh, to give their children a better education from home at a very low cost. Okay, very low cost. Now, um, come to uh, come 2020, right? That's when the COVID nineteen happened. That's where the pandemic started, and um, we all pretty much know what happened from that. Okay, so this is what happened during MCO in March 2020. The moment MCO was announced, we had to move everything, our entire business operations offline to 100% online, okay? So back then, it was like a 50-50 thing, like 50% offline, 50% online kind of thing. But right now, we move everything to online and this is what happened, okay? Business increased 10 times, okay? Business increased 10 times and we didn't expect it. All right. Um, with the same amount of effort, we experience a 10 times growth, not just for ourselves, for all our team members as well, for, for our partners, for, for our distributors. Okay. So it's so, like, so what happened? What is the regret? I'll, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. So over the moment since, uh, March 2020, right? Parents were looking for solutions. Parents were looking for ways for the children to learn from home. Um, children, uh, kids are very happy. One, okay, kids are very happy during MCO. They don't need to go to school and they get to be at home. They can play game. They can, uh, they can relax. Okay. Uh, kids, different story. Kids are very happy. One, okay. But parents are the ones that are going crazy. Oh, help me. Help me. Uh, I'm looking for a solution right now. My children got no school. My children got no tuition. Okay. Uh, they, they, uh, they can't catch up. Then this is where we do provide a solution for them. And it is so easy since MCO to, to like, to help them. Okay. Because that's what's happening right now. Because we, we were, we were at the right place at the right time. And yeah, that's what happened during MCO since like March 2020. Everyone's going crazy. Like that, uh, I mean, I mean, everyone's like finding a job, like, you know, free trench or resign. They can't handle the stress. And here we are during MCO in our rooms at home on our couch, lying on our beds. And the like money was just coming in like water. Okay. And that was like with very minimum effort. Uh, so we were quite blessed. Okay. During, uh, for that to happen to us. So, so as a result, right, what happened was like for ourselves, we were consistently earning like a five figure income every single month, not just ourselves as well, our team members who were with us during the MCO period. Um, yeah, they were experiencing like, like a easy five to six thousand a month, a ten to fifteen thousand a month income, all right, even though they had no experience, even though they had no knowledge or no confidence or like they're starting from zero, totally zero education industry background. Okay, so because we do provide the infrastructure, we do provide the training, we do everything is designed for them to, to, to do this from home. Okay. We are like a digital based uh, team. Everything we do is like online. So yeah, it's, it, it was quite, it was quite fun during the MCO period. And, and during the course of the few months during lockdown, we helped more than like 600 children. Okay. It's more than 600 children all over Malaysia to study from home, to learn better whether they are, they are in secondary school or whether they're in primary school. We can still help them as well. Now, which comes to right now, like right now, we are in the, okay, after MCO, we kind of went into our MCO in Malaysia. This is where people start to go back to work. People go back to, you know, try to find job. And for information, it is still very hard to find jobs. I have spoken to more than 500 applicants, job applicants. They are still trying to find something. They've been jobless for eight months, 10 months, one year, six months. Okay, there's a lot. One of them has even applied to almost 200, um, 200 companies and still haven't got a job yet. So which is why uh, for us, we are quite fortunate that we are running our own business from home, helping children all over Malaysia at this critical moment of time. 
But during RMCO, uh, that's where people start to get back, go back to schools, and then there was a dip, there was a slight dip in the, our performance as well, which leads to my biggest regret. Okay, now I'm going to tell you what is my biggest regret during MCO. Now during MCO, uh, when I look back, right, I noticed one thing. I I did not uh, give like I didn't take massive action during the time. Okay. Yes, uh, we were helping a lot of children. The income was coming in. Revenue was coming in. It was 10 times more than what we experienced, but we were only doing like one time, <laughs> one time the effort. Okay. One time the effort. And yet this was still happening. And I was, we were, uh, I was quite complacent. All right. I was quite complacent back then, which is why like that is the biggest regret. Okay. Can you imagine? I, I tell myself, okay, if back then you went all out, what would be your income? Okay. How, how would your team be doing? How many more children will you be helping? All right, so that is that is the biggest question mark that I have, that, that the biggest regret. Okay, can you imagine like how much money I left out? Okay, how much money was left on the table because I didn't take massive action back then? Anyways, I have a confession. At some point during this uh, the past few months, right, I did wish for a second lockdown. All right, not because there are people getting COVID nineteen or people were falling sick. That's not the point. I did wish for a second lockdown because that was the best time where we were experiencing surge, like a sudden surge of business, a sudden surge of like income for not just us, but for our entire team as well. Now, um, so just last night, okay, just last night I was driving and I was, we were going for dinner with Crystal, my two kids, and suddenly I got a notification. CMCO just announced for Clang and, uh, sorry, CMCO just announced for Selengo and KL. So, uh, I kind of got what I wish for, and right now it is my second chance for us. It is a second chance for our entire team as well, and it could be a second chance for you. Okay, maybe since MCO you have been, um, you know, trying to pick up the pieces of what to do, what to do next. You tried many things. You tried like getting a job, you know, try doing some extra income stuff, extra freelance stuff, and nothing seems to be working. Let me tell you something. Whatever we are doing is working. So now that I had, now that we are here in CMCO, this is our second chance, not just for us, but for our entire team as well. We are not going to make the same mistake. Okay, we are going to go crazy. We are going to go all out because we know this is the best time to do what we are doing right now. Okay, we are at the right place at the right time. And how we create the results depend on the actions we are taking now. It depends on the decisions we are making right now. All right. So anyways, um, I hope you learned something. Okay, I hope you learned something. This is one of my biggest uh, learnings. Okay, do not uh, take things easily. When things are going good for you, find a way to make it better. Okay, find a way to make it better. And anyways, if you are someone who is looking for something to do during CMCO, you can, you can do something great from home. You can start earning your income without leaving your house. At the same time, you're giving parents what they're looking for. Parents are looking for solution for their children to learn at home right now. And even though you like, even though back in RMCO, uh, children were still able to go back to school. No problem because uh, parents were still scared to send their kids to school. Parents were still scared. You know, they don't want to let their children uh, be exposed to COVID-19. And that's why they still remain at home. Okay. So anyways, I hope this helped you. And if you are uh, looking to earn an extra income, you're looking to work from home, you want to earn some extra income, you want to help children all over Malaysia to study, give them a better education. At the same time, you want to help other parents to reduce their financial costs then you are most welcome to join us. Okay, just feel free to apply at joincrystalshawn.com. So Crystal is my wife. Both of us, we are leading a team of more than 300 distributors all over Malaysia and we are very blessed to be given this opportunity to serve. All right. So anyway, Sean here and um, give a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to the channel. It will help a lot. Okay, it will help a lot. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.